Hey everybody, this is Arathas, and welcome back to Foundation for today's stream. Uh, the main thing I want to get to in this stream is I want to get our manor built. I've been holding off on it uh, to get you know our happiness set up, but I think it's about time we actually built that manor. So, in this, uh, in this stream I think I'm going to focus on the manor. Uh, probably build that secondary, like build my fort... My, ah, not my, my for, forest and lumber operation right here. And I think I might take one of these areas for berries. We'll see. Either way, we are going to... Also, I got this built again at the end of the last stream. So we are going to be able to get some planks. Which means all this should get done. Should. I could be wrong on that, but it should get done. <laughs> At least we are producing the iron now. And this stuff should get built. Granted, we need a lot of planks for this. Ah, uh, that is actually a really good idea. Let's see how many free people I have, because I kind of want to... Yeah. Before we end the um, immigration for a little while, let's see how many unemployed I have. Four plus two coming in. Uh, I do want to I do want to stop immigration, but I also want to make sure these new areas, these new facilities, get people in them, because we have those two, and we have this getting built. But that is a very good suggestion, Stahor. I probably will stop the influx of new people once these are these areas are manned, just so we don't have to worry about the happiness for a while. Yeah, I think all these are, all the stuff that's built is manned. I don't think this is really producing uh, wood anymore. I think it's basically cut everything down that it can. Because it doesn't seem to be hitting the ones on the cliff, probably because they're not going to scale a cliff to cut down some trees. And these look like they're on a cliff as well, so let's bulldoze this. I'll rebuild that in our little forest um, area when we get to it. So yeah, we need... Oof. I think we need like a hundred, at least a hundred planks to finish everything. Okay, yep. So there's 30. <laughs> yeah. 50, 70, 90, and then however much this crap up here needs. Yep, over 100 is what we're looking at right now. Well, at least the iron smelter's almost built. Then we'll be producing our own tools, which would be kind of help us money-wise. Alright, a few more villagers. Good, good, good. Yeah, I really should not have. I really messed up my operation when I stopped the, um, when I destroyed the carpenters, the sawmills. That sucked. Come on, I just want to put these guys to work. What was I going to build up here? Didn't I already turn that into a residential? Yeah, I did. Hmm, okay. So they should build some houses up here at some point. Come on, build, 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 build. You're bringing one plank, really? And you're bringing one plank. Okay, well, at least one of these is going to get done. There we go. Thank you. I only need two workers to do the smelter. Almost done with the blacksmith. Excellent. Then we can start making tools. Rather than having to buy them all the time. So I imagine the tools are not cheap. Two more villagers. Okay. I think we're about done on needing people. 
might just go one more and then stop. Like one more set of immigrants and then stop for a little bit. Hans is bringing two. You need to bring three. I mean, I, I didn't have three, I assume, when he left. <coughs> eh, bread is still... Still iffy. But that's what this is for. Should it happen? Our berries are going down fast, too. Eek. It's probably why I should take this and this. This for the trees and this for the berries. You guys about... Okay, cool. Sophie's bringing one. Get over there, Sophie. Build this so I can just be done with this section. Come on. Cool. Yeah, stop following that villager. I don't need them anymore. There we go. Blacksmith is done. So now it's this area. Okay, now I think I can get away with... It's a way for these two people to reach the village, because I don't know if stopping immigration will just make them turn around on the road. Come on. Come on. Yeah, okay, now I can stop it. And let this get built. I should have enough people for that now. And I'm gonna buy this territory one. I mean, it's adding a lot to my taxes. I might wanna wait. Yeah, I think we're set on, actually. We're not zeroing out berries, so I think my people should be getting plenty of berries. So yeah, let's focus on this. I mean, we're getting low on berries, but we're not zeroing out. Well, farm should be up shortly. And we'll start on the manor. Uh, I did paint a area for farming, right? Yeah, I did. Excellent, he's getting right to work too. Or they are. Yeah, we have over 2,000 wood. We're not gonna run into a shortage of planks again. I mean, well, shortage of wood, sorry. We are definitely running at a shortage of planks. Should be fixed though. Yep, two planks are being brought to the windmill. Excellent. I can put that person to work immediately. Also, where is my resource panel? There it is. Yeah, bread is still rough. Come on. Seriously? <laughs> okay, they're bringing the final resources to those. Good. That's going to be a while. That's where all our planks are going to go once we have them. Excellent. They're going to get to work right now. Just this one now. All right. We'll keep an eye on this. They'll tell me when. Oh, well, it's going to be done sooner than I thought. All right. Well, we'll keep an eye on it while we go work on our manor. So, manor. Start with the core. 
I apparently do not have multiple styles of the core. So. Hmm. Let's build the main manor house right here. Uh, maybe a little bit taller. Not huge, though. That's what the towers themselves are for. Hmm. Kind of feel like building a few, two extensions out in that direction. Two extensions out in the other. Yeah, Thomas, the city is still alive. <laughs> I know, it's shocking, right? <laughs> that seems to be the center. Okay. Come on. Hey, Cobb, hey. That seems right. Man, I want to get people over in the bakery. But I cannot until I'm done with the... Yeah, we'll slow time down a little bit while I work on this. Yeah, I'm trying to see if we really have a tower, though. Seems the treasury might be the only real tower we got. Which is weird. You would think there'd be another... That looks odd. There we go. you think there'd be actual towers, but I guess technically it's a lord's manor, not a lord's castle. Eh. Maybe bring that one down just a little bit. Could build a couple towers. A couple treasury towers. Which I do kind of want to do. here in front and we're gonna want to make that a substantial tower and since these are the only towers I can build we are going to <laughs> we are going to make them impressive damn it whoa no no hey Go a little bit higher. We'll put a treasury here. Come on. Hey, go where I tell you. Now, I don't know what I'm going to build over here. There's a lot of room to extend the place over here, so I'm not going to change that. Okay, I need to put some doors, though. over here. Yep. Kind of do these little inner courtyard things. Okay. Let's do wall fountains. I do like the wall fountains. Hmm. Decorative bushes, I guess. Put some in the courtyard here. Uh, decorative tree. <laughs> Throw that over here, I guess. Nice, nice. Chimney. Should probably put one of those up, huh? Banner? This one seems a little odd trying to place. It doesn't really want to click anywhere. Maybe it's not meant to click anywhere. Maybe you are just meant to put it in, like, a courtyard or something. <laughs> Ultra-wide brethren, huh? Yeah, I mean, that works. <laughs> Greetings to you as well. A fence? 
I'm not gonna build a fence. I'm gonna build a wall. This is a castle, damn it. Yeah, kind of a castle. <laughs> Let's do this. And I think I might put some more extensions over here. On either side. Nope. Like this. Come on. Let go. Wow, okay. This is a little hard to control now. Another extension. Nah, we can leave that one a little low. Another extension. And a few more towers. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be expensive as hell to build as well, just like the church was. But you know what? I want this place to be impressive. I really wish, though, that the game had more options for the manor. It seems a bit uh, lackluster in terms of options for the manor. We'll do the wall fountains out here again. Keep this place looking impressive. Or as impressive as the game will let me. And then... What's that noise? Ah, they're upgrading. Okay. We'll drop some banners up on the hill. Around the gate. And we'll do a decorative bush over here. And... What do we think? A decorative tree over here. It's a bunch of trees over there as it is, but still. Yeah, I feel like they should have included not just fences, they should have included, like, walls. Yeah, this is a little odd. Like, I can build a fence here next to the cliff. I don't think I'm going to bother with that. I've got some other ideas. Uh, can I build a chimney on any other structures? Nope, okay. Yeah, that's about it. I live with that. Unless, that might be one thing we do. Let's make the... Let's make the tower out here a little bit farther. Maybe another core piece. Like this. Then maybe this overlooking the this side. Ooh, I like that. I mean, at this point, I know where this is a lot of gold storage, but it's not really for the gold storage. <laughs> it's really just because I like the idea of the towers. And the chimney on this. Oh, put one right there. Uh, that feels like it needs to... There we go. That's what I wanted. And then probably a door or two. the door. There we go. And yeah, there's doors there. Maybe put the decorative fountains over here. Not like that. And another, not a decorative bush, but a decorative fountain here. I think that's what we did on both sides. Yep. And to finish things off, I want to put some banners over here. Let's 
Excellent. Start construction. That is going to take a while. Regardless, though, I like what I see. Gonna need a lot of planks, though. That's what I was looking for, right there. I don't have available villagers for the bakery. Alrighty then, turn immigration back on so I can get a few. And we'll buy this territory next, so I can get the berries. Yeah, it's not nearly as big as the church, but I also have plans to build up here the walls. So I can build, like, castle walls and stuff. I'm also starting to wonder if setting this to an extraction zone has stopped people from wanting to build houses over here. Because this seems like a pretty desirable neighborhood. But they don't seem to want to fill the rest of that space up there. Hey, organic. How's it going? Welcome. Yeesh. That was a big drop in our cash. Okay, I want this. As soon as we get to 500, I'm buying this. Let's get to 500. I want to buy this. I guess I could speed time up a little bit. Boom. There we go. All right. Let's start with a well. Here. Let's do a gathering hut. And we're going to do a couple gathering huts because we've seen how important the berries are. Oddly enough, still. And I'm not going to build any... Oh, sorry to hear that. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to build anything else here. This is going to be purely a... This is also going to be the lumber area I mentioned before. And then this is probably going to be another fancy-ass residential zone. <laughs> oh, we got the... Uh, we got the manor built. Well, not built. Designed. We'll see what it actually turns out to look. I don't have everything done on it, though. I'll probably expand on it later. Because you would think if I just click over here... Yeah, I, I still can edit it. So yeah, I'll be able to edit the manor later if I want to make it even bigger. Which I might. <laughs> Hello, Risen Chaos Gaming. How goes it? Welcome. Now... Let's see. I think all these are doing just fine, actually. So we might actually be making some headway against the constant bread losses here. Good lord. We deal with that a lot. Ah, that's right. My builders are going to be focused on the manor for a while if I don't just tell them to prioritize some other stuff. Wait, what wood cut? Oh, this wood cutter. Yeah, no shit, you don't have stuff to cut. The trees are gone. I'm gonna put you elsewhere. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Risen Chaos. Yeah, I might actually, that's a good idea. I might actually paint this as residential. I've not entirely decided, though, if I'm going to put a, like, if I'm going to extend the castle farther this way. I might, actually. I know you're not going to find wood to cut. There is no, eh. Do I have a woodcutter around here somewhere still? I thought I deleted them all. Oh, I already put people in this one. Oh, I didn't. Holy crap. Thank you for reminding me. I thought I got those already. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to paint 
this whole new territory as an extraction zone. Come on. Extraction. All over, guys. All over. I wish I could make this little designator a little bit bigger. Because, yeah, this takes a lot longer than I would like. Alright. And now... Also, reforestation. Oh, no. I didn't get all the extractions done. Okay, now. Reforestation. I do not want it extending into the farmland. Because, yeah, I am going to build a forester's hut down here. And I'll put some workers on the berries here in a minute. I don't think I'm even going to put a market down here, because I don't want people living down here anyway. There we go. Uh, let's do reforestation... Eh, let's not reforest this part. Because that's where my huts are going to go. But this area is fine. Okay. Turn that off. Let's assign some workers to get some more berries. Yeah, I don't think they need a market down here. I could be wrong, but I don't think they need a market. I think they'll walk over here for their needs. Damn, that is, that is building quite quickly. Ooh, they still need a lot of resources, though. Holy crap. <laughs> I do want that well built, though, and I don't even know where the hell it went. Okay. Once that one's done, I'm going to prioritize this one. Don't think I have all the people for this. I do. All right. Yeah. So the markets and everything are over here. They'll be fine. <laughs> it does kind of look like the placement of Dracula's castle. Hey, it's this dude. I do still have one that need that hasn't been deleted yet. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, the placement does look a bit like that. <laughs> I wish I could actually design that castle. Again, it seems like the options are very limited for the manor when compared to the church. Like, I wish you could make full-on, like, castle walls and stuff. There is a well over here. I know there is. There it is. Focus on that. All right, now we are going to put in, where is it? Ooh, we can build a gate and everything? Okay, cool, that's what we're gonna do up here. Okay. Let's get a forester's camp. And I'm gonna put one on each side here. Probably not right in the center, but like here. I think we'll put the other one here. And then lumber camps, like right here, and another one right here. Yeah, this is all wood production, this whole damn area. And I want the carpenter thing up here as well. Sawmill, put you right here. I really like the idea of having my wood production focused in this area. Seems logical, right? <laughs> uh, yes. Prioritize that. And prioritize that. So I can start assigning people to work there. Oh, 
Oh, thank God we finally have a decent surplus of bread going. Not an amazing one, but a decent one. Good, 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 good. Okay, now let's focus on these two. Because we have plenty of stone and we have plenty, plenty of... Um... Wood. Nope, can't get anybody to focus on that one. They are too busy right now. Well, let's get some trees cut, guys. <laughs> Now, I know we have a carpenter's hut way up here, a sawmill. I might take it down. In fact, I will. There's no need for it to still be in existence up here. Now that I have the other one. Or now that I'm about to have two down here. What's up? The manor is built. Let's go take a look at the completed product. Nice. Ooh, I like that. And we can have 5,500 gold stockpiled. Oh, yes, I am pleased with this. <laughs> All right, let's get down here and finish this area. And then we'll go from there. So all those builders should now be theoretically working on all this stuff down here. Do you, guys th do you guys think, just out of curiosity, do you guys think I should be safe and just put a warehouse for food and clothing and stuff down here? And then a market, like all my standard markets? Seems like a good thing that we've kept the markets going as well as we have. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could change colors. They didn't give me the option, unfortunately. Like with the church I had the option for stone like just the standard like cobblestone look and I had the option for what was the other one called red or blue alright do I just need one person for this thing I do only need one person for that. Okay. All right. Yeah. Let's put one. Let's put one warehouse up here. Yeah. Don't need two. Uh, maybe right here. And I do think I need some markets. Like, if I'm gonna do this, I should probably have a market over here. Not entirely certain on that yet, though. Alright, get this one built so I can start putting um, more trees. Because, yeah, our woodcutters just stripped that down fast. I can't even click on this one anymore. Really? Yeah, it'll make my cart... It'll make my... Uh, planks come in much faster if I do that. Come on. There it is. Oh. I need some more planks for that. <laughs> Alright, guys. Come on. Yeah, all this should get done fairly quickly. Yeah, I don't think these guys are going to get upset by not having the markets now that I think about it. They'll come here. And I'm going to put a market here because I want this to be another residential area. So yeah, they'll have markets adjacent. Okay, berry surplus is working just fine. Also, real quick... Now that we are producing our own uh, tools, 
We are no longer trading tools. We'll sell planks, we'll sell stone, we'll sell berries. But that's about it. What does this guy actually, like, buy? Wool? Eh, I don't have a big enough surplus of wool or clothing, so... No, you guys don't get to have any of that. Hey, there we go. The other forester is ready. Now we just need to wait for the tree, uh, the warehouse. Shouldn't take long. We are producing a fair amount of planks. Man, our money jumped up fast. We're already at filling up our manor. All right, I am going to buy this territory. And we are going to paint all of this as an extraction zone. Because I think my woodcutters can't really cut the trees in our current territory. Like this area down here, I don't think they can cut those trees. Just because they're not old enough yet. So hopefully they'll just cross the boundary and help clear cut this area as well. I hope. I really do. Because that would make it much easier to turn this into like a residential area. Okay. There we go. Hopefully they do this. I don't know if they will. It seems like they should, but that doesn't always mean that they will. All right, let's accept wood. I don't mind if it accepts some planks. We're going to be producing planks very quickly and berries. And we'll assign some workers there. Okay. Yeah, if they don't come up here to cut trees, I might have to send them elsewhere. So they are cutting these trees, damn it. So yeah, I might just have to put a woodcutter's, like two woodcutter huts up here. Just to like clear cut this area quickly. Didn't want to, but I'm gonna. Besides, it doesn't take a lot of resources to build these. Put one of you here. And one of you here. Hmm. I'm looking at this area and thinking, hmm, either there or maybe across here, a gate or a wall. Let's take a look at the gate. How big is it? Huh. Generally all right. Yeah, I could put that like right up. No, I don't want to put it right up on the area. Let's see what the walls look like, shall we? Oh, hell. Hmm. Is there a cliff down here? Start chopping all this down, please. Nope, don't have enough for one more. Hmm. Because, yeah, I'm thinking some walls to, you know, cut this off. I mean, it's pretty well defended, but it looks like, you know, I would like it to be, like, have a legitimate wall. Let's take a look. Now, do we build the wall here, across here? Because there's a cliff right here. We could cut this whole area off and just put a gate and make this, like, you know, the upper class area if we wanted to do something like that. Hmm. Or I could just build across here. Not entirely sure yet. This is going along very nicely. 
Do I have anybody to assign to this yet? I do. Okay, it might be time to uh, disable immigration for a bit. Considering all the jobs are currently filled. Hmm. I'll make my decision on what to do with these, with the wall once um, these trees are down. I can actually see what we're working with. It will not take them long to clear these trees out. Because I do kind of like the idea of, like I was saying before, a gate right here maybe cutting this whole section off from the rest of the city. Uh, it says zero. Yeah, I guess we'll be able to assign workers to it eventually to do something. That's not a thing yet. Okay. We do have a bunch of decorative stuff we can put down. That's about it, though. Ah, oh, I can put fountains out. That seems like a good way to improve the overall appearance of the city. Just plop them down in a few places. Are they expensive? Ah, ten tools to build. They are, kinda. Yeah, I'll put these two down for now. Wait till we have some more tools. Hmm. By the discolored stone patch on the hill? And we have a couple. Have to see. Like I said, let's get the trees out of the way, and then we'll go from there. I wonder if my people are busy wanting houses again. This is kind of a big empty patch. We could probably put something there. Probably gonna have to up our clothing again. Like, we have a surplus of wool, so I think it's probably a good idea to build... Where is he? One more weaver's hut. Seems like this would be a good spot for it. Man, can you imagine trying to... I, I can't even begin to imagine how many resources I would need if I wanted to, like, wall this entire damn place in. Let's go to the reforestation thing. Oh, cool. I wanted to make sure these buildings weren't in the reforestation zone. Because I do want them to look... I do want to be able to see them if I want to. <laughs> That works. Okay. And since I'm not planning on building anything else in here, this is perfect. Alright. That's weird. That one tree was not marked as an extraction zone. <laughs> uh, these trees will not be able to get hit. I can see that already. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, because I'm pretty sure there's some trees right here. Let's see. That is a cliff again, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And to be fair, like I said, I wasn't sure if I wanted to build a full-on manor house, like a wall that's just for the manor, or if I wanted like this as a separate district, which is what the wall would be there to stop.
Doesn't get a lot of foot traffic up here, clearly. <laughs> That is a very well manicured forest. Hey, cool. I don't think I have enough people to assign to you. Nope. So, we'll let a few more people in. Just so I can max out this uh, weaver. Hmm. New people will be here soon. Yeah, and this area is going to get a full-on market and everything. So you guys are clearing this out. Okay, so now I just need you to clear this out. I wonder if it'll make the area a bit more desirable if... Because we have the markets over here. Maybe it's like we need more water. Maybe that's what it'll take to make them build up there. Man, this guy's... That's an unfortunate spot for your house, dude. Just wondering if this will help. I don't know if it will. I'd be rather surprised if it did. Alright, you. Oh, people aren't here yet. Get to the village center. Yeah, we do still have this glitch that says we never built a village center when... Clearly, it's right there. But I really don't think there's a whole lot more to see in the game right now. I mean, it is very... it is alpha, but... Yeah, I don't think there's much else to do. <laughs> That's true. Our people are very private. And looking at the quality of some of these houses, quite well off financially. Alright. So do you guys like how the... Do you guys think we should expand the manor house a bit more, or what? Honestly, I was wondering if I could build... Apparently I can build another church somewhere else if I want to. That might be something to do as another church district. Hmm. Yeah, at this point it's just basically going to be expanding and fine-tuning our city. Which I'm okay with, frankly. I, I get really into these types of games. <laughs> Ah, it did help a little. They built. They started building around the well. Hmm. Let's see just where I should put the rest of our stuff. Because, yeah, right now it's just the finishing touches of the... Where the hell are you going to cut trees? Like over here? Oh yeah, they're taking out the cl the ones on the edges of the cliff. Good, 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 good. And then yeah, I think this will be a residential district. Really make some privacy up here. <laughs> At this point, it'd just be a matter of turning that into. Yeah, I really like the look of that. Holy crap. Honestly, if I keep bringing it down the hill, I could just do multiple tiers from that angle. <laughs> be kind of interesting. Alright, let's shut that off again. Cut the trees. Get rid of them all, please. Hmm. That is quite picturesque. I mean, granted, compared to the church, the manor's not all that impressive. As opposed to, like, our medieval church to the Omnissaia over here. 
I still love that that's essentially what it looked like when we were done with it. <laughs> Could I build the walls in between these and kind of finish it? I wonder. I think that'd be kind of cool to kind of make some protected courtyards. I can, actually. Ooh, that is actually really cool. Okay, then. No, I don't like this one. Let's pull this one out here like this. I like the I like it being hidden inside. <laughs> so yeah, we basically made it into more of a castle. <laughs> I can live with that. <laughs> it's properly yeah, it's properly something we can defend. Tell me I can only build a manor. Nope, we build in a castle. <laughs> this is about ready to be turned into a um, residential area. I feel like we're gonna need an, we're gonna have an issue with um, sheep as well because we need the. Well, I think we could support one more weaver. I don't think we need another market for clothing, but I feel like we can support another weaver. Looks like we have room over here. So the walls are 100%. Obviously, we're not getting attacked. Seem to be 100% cosmetic, especially since there's not any requirement to what's the word um you don't need to actually expend resources building them that is kind of cool though i could hmm i could easily just make my own wall all the way across here <laughs> Like, if you let me build walls and stuff, I'm going to try to make a fortress. That's all there is to it. That's usually how I play these games. Huh, looks like the well helps a lot more than I thought. And yeah, our people are definitely running out of space to build houses. So I wonder, if I put in a few extra wells, like just dot them around, will that trigger... Because I'm still not 100% certain what this, what the game's requirements are for a lot of stuff, actually. So I'm wondering if I put a few extra wells in some of these areas. I mean, I don't think it'll encourage people to move here. There's nowhere to build a house, but would it encourage them to upgrade their house? I mean, it's not like we don't have the money to experiment with all these extra wells. I mean, our village is quite, as you guys have pointed out, quite wealthy. Let's put a fountain down here. Just kind of in these little natural plazas. Okay, a couple wells are done. Oh, the weaver's hut's already done. Yes. Did the other Weaver's Hut get everybody it needed, or... Yeah, it did. Cool. Yeah, I just want to see if this actually upgrades stuff. Because I'm by no means sure what it takes to... 
um, upgrade houses. And honestly, I doubt there's another upgrade on top of these. That seems to be basically the final form of these houses. Okay. You know what? The church probably should... Well, the church has other fountains of their own. Hmm. Yeah, nothing else about upgrading houses. That's fine. Well, while we're at it, let's go ahead and start. This area feels big enough that maybe build... Yeah, like two residential areas with wells and everything. Hmm. Let's go with, yeah, let's get our markets in place. So that's the berry market. I should probably turn this on because I'm going to need people soon. Berry market. Uh, bread market. And clothing market. Where is it? Where is it? Right there. Man, I wish, I really do wish there were more games on the market like this, because goddamn do I love these games. And we'll put the warehouse right here in the middle. This should be able to supply both of those with the resources they're going to need. And I think this will just be, like I said, for the markets. This is only going to have food, clothing, and that's it, frankly. I think I have the people to assign to it already if I wanted to. Even though they don't have <laughs> they don't have the means to supply to get their goods yet. Okay, now we ran out. Now ah, here come the next batch to fix things. Come on. Get to the city center. Yeah, I think we're coming to the end of what my woodcutters can deal with. I'm going to put in a gate up here. Yeah, like right around here. And let's go to the wall again. Kind of wish there were towers, you know? Maybe no 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 I don't I don't want to do that. Can we edit this? And can we put the treasury towers? Nope, too far away. Well, if that's as far as I can build them, I can live with that. Let's take a look. Let's do another treasury tower here. Yeah, let's put you right here.
Okay. Now, now I can do this. And another treasury tower here. I feel like this should be over here a little bit more. That definitely should be over a bit more. About here. Yep, that'll work. Let's build this up a little. Dude. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, yeah, you should probably be forward a little bit more. Let's build you up. And now, I'm actually cool with that. Let them build this, and then I'll build the rest of my walls. <laughs> I feel completely okay with that. Trees are almost completely cleared. I really don't think these guys are doing anything worthwhile anymore. That can go. Yep, just want these towers built. Kind of wish there was a stone gate option, but I take what you can get. <laughs> See, they built another house. They're upgrading their houses again. Cool, cool. I think it's the need to build. Like, if we look at the happiness, let's see what they're angry about. Eh, what do you want? Eh, clothing and bread. As always. <laughs> That's what we fall behind on. Uh, let's stop immigration for a bit. I'm going to build some houses up here. And, yeah. I don't know. I think I might build one more district. Didn't realize this is extending. Oh, that is actually really cool. Now, that's a question, too. Can I build a second Lord's Manor? If I wanted to, I could. And there's another cliff over here. <laughs> That'd basically be making your own kingdom at this point, not your own city. Okay. I like that it says the minimum parts you need to finish your manor is three. We have 49. <laughs> I mean, I ain't mad at it. It's actually kind of funny. And, you know, I love games that let me design, like, a huge structure piecemeal like this. Like, I used to love the old Castles games. Kind of wish there was, a uh, There was, there were more of those. Like, one of those got a remake or something. Cool, cool. Tower's almost done. Just looks like we're waiting on tools now. I mean, we have enough money if I really wanted to. I could keep the... I could keep that trade coming in. So why not? We have no shortage of cash. Ooh, that's something I should have done. Oh man, I can't edit it again yet. Okay, we'll put you inside here. And I 
think we can do that here as well. <laughs> I like it. Stone Hearth? Yeah, I've seen it. I never really got in... I never played it. All I ever saw was a lot of people quite irritated at the devs for some reason. Don't know much else about it, though, so... Never played it, never really... Like I said, never really got to know it beyond that little... Very irritated people at the devs. I am curious why people were so irritated at the devs, but meh, it's not a huge deal. But I've watched one or two gameplay videos on it, and it did look interesting. And it is done. Now, shall we edit it one more time, because I did forget. I mean, this is our castle, damn it. We need some banners out front. I like how there's like a maintenance cost for all this and it's like, yeah, I don't really care. Yes. Build the banners. Yeah, they're just purely decorative, so they instantly went up. Oh, ouch, is that what happened? That's a shame. I mean, again, I don't know anything about it beyond, but that is a shame if that's what happened. The devs kind of just abandoned the game, you know, midway like that and left a lot of promises unfulfilled. That's That kind of sucks. Especially since it was, they, you know, Kickstarter goals and all that. That's uh, the downside of Kickstarter. Lot of overpromising. And then a lot of angry people when the promises aren't met. Yeah, I didn't realize that's what was going on. Hell, I didn't even realize it was a Kickstarter game. Okay, so the people are going to rush in here and make this into a nice residential area. At least I hope so. Now, is that undesirable because of, like, maybe a lack of water? I'll put a well there. We'll figure that out. So they did get to 1.0. So I, so I wonder, is it just because of the Kickstarter thing? Like, people were just angry because... The stretch goals weren't met, weren't met, or were some of the coal, the core goals not met? That's kind of what I'm curious about. Now, if they met their core goals, I can give them a little bit of slack. But if it was like just, but if they ditched on the stretch goals and ditched on the, like some of the core goals, that would, like I could understand people being exceedingly pissed about that. Hell, I would be. Just wondering if I could actually make that bigger like I can with the castle, but I cannot. See, that's a proper castle. I feel good about that. <laughs> eh, regardless, I might give it a try just because, like I said, I love city builders like this. Um, like, for example, when the next update to the universe sim comes out and they get some yeah when the next update to the universe sim comes out and you can use god powers to make trees and stuff i'm definitely going back to that game yeah i saw that the building system is pretty extensive in stone hearth isn't it also capable of building up not just out if i remember correctly from the videos I saw, which 
Those were a while ago. Hmm. Those might be... I really love streaming these types of games, so... Playing them and streaming them. So, you know, I might actually bring the Universe Sim and... With the next update. And Stone Hearth. Uh, to the stream because yeah, it's really fun. I also like getting feedback from you guys while I'm playing these style of games You know as in terms of layout and building ideas Yeah, now our people are not extending over here to build yet uh, Might have to do with the lack of other stuff over here. So berries Shirts and food That might convince the people to come over here and live yeah, nothing in stock, nothing in stock. Well, yeah, because I don't have anything in the warehouse. That should all get resolved shortly. So the residential area is built. Hmm. Looking at all these ideas and trying to decide if I'm going to build, like, I think I might build another farming area over here. I like I love this game. Even though I'm kind of out of content at this point, I really love this game. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to you know, seeing what they do with it. Build a Moria. If as long as well, I was about to say as long as I could build Moria without the Balrog, but I kind of want the Balrog too, even if he does kill all my people. That'd be really That'd be an interesting <laughs> experience, I think. I'm going to build two wells. And I'm actually going to set up farming on the top half here. Because, this, again, this is going to be food and clothing production. Should probably bring some woodcutters over here to clear cut this stuff, too. And considering how many merchants are nearby, I'm probably not going to put a market over here. Uh, extraction is going to be authorized for the entire area. Uh, just because I want to get rid of all these trees. I mean, in reality, I don't like—I wouldn't clear cut this much, obviously. I love trees, but they're in my way right now, which is a problem. And because we are about to get a bunch of farms and stuff built, I should probably re-allow immigration so I have people to work all these areas. I have no doubts. I think one of the things that should show up in this game, and I have no doubts that they're going to, is going to be like an education system later on. You're going to have to build schools and stuff so your future citizens are higher class so that they can take on more advanced jobs. <laughs> Underwater settlements? Well, I mean, if they let you, that's <laughs> that'd be interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and throw our lumber camp right here in the middle so they can constantly clear trees. Uh, this seems about done over here. So... Gonna remove all you guys from this work. And we're gonna bulldoze that. And let people start bringing their houses over here. And a few people already are. An underwater settlement would be really cool. And I like the voxel based uh, build system that you mentioned about Stone Hearth. I do like the idea of building an entire village with that kind of freedom. Kind of like RimWorld, but 3D. <laughs> and we all know how much I like RimWorld. Considering how much I play that bloody game, how many different series I have of RimWorld. Completed and one ongoing. Well, one ongoing on the channel and one ongoing in my free time just for me. 
It's a game I just cannot... It's, a, it's rare. I'm actually still shocked by how much RimWorld I play. Like, I have... N I cannot get sick of that game. It is weird as hell to me. Most games I get sick of very quickly. But again, I just like building my own little world like this. Hey, Michael, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Let's get all this stuff built. I think the only other... Hey, I love city building games. And I've been getting ideas of other ones I'm going to bring up, Michael, so... Again, no blaming me if you decide to buy a few of them, dude. <laughs> but no, I'm planning, I'm thinking about bringing the universe sim, and after talking to Stahor here, very likely to do some stone hearth, so... <laughs> I'm doing pretty well. Thanks for asking, I'm glad you are as well. Oh, Lord, yeah. I am very much looking forward to the... Um, upcoming game in that series, Stahor. I want to say that I've actually played 22, uh, Anno 2205, but I am not positive. Give me a second to double-check, take an actual look at the game. Uh, I believe I played the base game. I have not played any of the expansions. In fact, I wasn't even aware it had as many expansions as it did. So, yeah, I might have to tackle that game. <laughs> you can apologize to my wallet for to your wallet for me. Now, that is one game I had a hard time getting into, was Factorio. Admittedly, it's a very impressive, very good game, but it's, I don't know, I just couldn't get into it, I don't know why. But yeah, I think, honestly, if I have to go with my favorite types of games, I'd have to go with Colony Builders, like this, slash God Games. Uh, I'd have to say I actually like god games a bit more, but they're not exactly common anymore. I love my grand strategy games. And one, fr one genre that I wish got more attention is... <laughs> Still have nightmares from Factoria, eh, <laughs> Organic? <laughs> uh, let's see... And I love that some games are trying this right now, but I love the game... Like, I used to love the games that let you control massive battleships and fleets. Not necessarily, um... Like, the Empire backing it up, just the ships and all that themselves. Like, what was that one game I fucking loved? Um... What was it called? Uh, Nexus. That's what it was called. Nexus and Homeworld. Did love the Homeworld series, and I loved Nexus. The Jupiter Incident. That was a, that was a fun game. At least I think that's what it was called. Yep, that's the one I was thinking. So, yeah. I mean... Nexus was buggy as hell, no doubt, but it was a fun game. Cool, the houses are moving in. And I have one game I'm probably going to stream. Uh, I got a key for that looks like it might be along those same lines. I don't know how big of a story it has, because it's also billed as a... Um, 
you know, roguelike. So, I don't know. But apparently you can control these big-ass ships. And as shallow as the gameplay was, I really liked uh, Rogue Galaxy. Just a shame those games are not as common as I'd like them to be. Same with God games, frankly. Alright, let's put in a few sheep farms. I'm gonna need those too. To keep up with the wheat production that we need. Then I think I can put a weaver's hut right here. One here. And one here. Well, two of them. Why not? And then let's put another one of these. Where are they called? Where the hell is it? Saw, not sawmill. What the hell's wrong with me? Windmill. Let's put one of you right down here next to this camp. And then we can throw in a couple bakeries. We kind of have room for them. Since all these trees need to be cleared. And let's see how this does. Yeah, it's a fun game. I like it. I really like the music. The, you know, the first... Um... <laughs> the first couple times you hear it. Actually, I think Rogue Galaxy... Is that the right game? Nope, I take that back. The game I was talking about... I played Rogue Galaxy. I did like it. I was talking about Rebel Galaxy. Sorry, it was the one where you command ships and they had really shallow gameplay. Really good music the first time you hear it and then the same song gets played like five times in a row and you're like, okay, I need to mute this now. Come on, guys. Build this stuff. I have people waiting to put this shit to work. Come on. Hello? I have the raw materials for all of this. I know I do. And I have enough builders. I should, at least. Yeah, Rogue Galaxy was a um, RPG, wasn't it? That I really enjoyed, if I, rem if I remember correctly. <laughs> Never got to finish it, unfortunately. I think I was heading to the last planet in um, Rogue Galaxy, and then my game just stopped working. Anytime I tried to play past a certain spot, it just crashed. It was the exact same spot every time when I was traveling to the final planet. Which was kind of annoying after like 80 hours of gameplay. Yep, it was. And at that point, I'd had the game long enough, I could not return it or exchange it or anything. I was just kind of shit out of luck. <sighs> That's one of the reasons I actually kind of like the fact that so many of these, like, PC games in particular are, like, digital. It's like, okay, you know what? That's fine. I don't get the damaged fucking disc issue anymore. Can't tell you how many times I got that. The first Baldur's Gate was an example of that. Man, I still remember that little folding case for Baldur's Gate that had, what, like six discs or some shit? Six CDs? <laughs> Regardless, I remember having to switch those discs out a lot. Hehehe. <laughs> 
<laughs> and yeah, one of those discs got damaged, and I was like, nope. <laughs> I am not going to not finish this game. It's like, with that one, it's like, nope, I don't give a shit. I am going to go buy it again if I have to. Thankfully, with that one, I got lucky when I went back to the store. It was outside of their little exchange period. But the dude who was working in that department was like, you know what? Fine. And just traded the game out after I explained what was going on. <laughs> that it was. Alright. Have the bakery producing again. Well, two new bakeries producing. Alright, now bread and clothing should be widespread again. Should be able to get a surplus this time. And maintain it, I hope. <laughs> ah, that happened to a friend of mine. His disc three was damaged, so he went to Blockbuster, rented the game just so he could play the third disc and finish it. I also know he was wrestling with his conscience about whether or not he didn't, so credit to him. He was wrestling with his conscience as to whether or not he was going to switch his third disc for Blockbuster's third disc. <laughs> hey, Silverwolf, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, so they're moving into this area slowly but steadily. Producing a nice amount of clothing and bread, finally. What is our... It feels like mills are our shortage now, because we have a surplus of wheat. But we know how quickly that can change. I'm doing pretty well, thanks for asking. I'm just going to throw in another windmill just to see if that helps. Oh wow, Michael. Yeah, I haven't put I haven't been back to Conan Exiles in a little while. I want to go back though cuz I still need to play the Aquilonian stuff and I don't know. I love the <laughs> I love the um building system in that game and the freedom. So Uh yeah, you you you've missed a bit. <laughs> we have the Royal Forest over here. <laughs> just a dedicated hex for just growing, cutting, and refining trees. A uh, few more farming areas. And we got the manor built. Not sure if you saw the church. I think you did. There's the church. I can't believe how quickly my gold is filling up <laughs> with this many. Ah, oh, what's some of the bad stuff about the Aquilonian buildings, Michael? I mean, I'm going to get that DLC regardless when I start playing again. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much a castle now. It was kind of weird to me that the manor itself, the building system for the manor, didn't have walls, but... Ah, I made it work with the normal wall system over here. <laughs> you know it would look appropriate in there? <laughs> Let's put a... Just put in a fountain. <laughs> Ah, new windmill. Yeah, 
Yeah, we got a big surplus of wheat. Yeah, I do think we need more windmills to keep everything supplied. I think maybe build two more and see what see how that see how that works. I mean, hell, I could throw one here. Uh, let's build the other windmill here. Yeah, the location is awesome. Like, just... Yeah, I like the different <laughs> angles I could get on it like this. And just having the cliff <laughs> overlooking the everything else, it's pretty cool. Ah, I see. That would bug me. Everything looks nice and clean with the Aquilonian stuff, and then everything you put in, it's kind of dingy. Yeah. Yeah, I went ahead and set this up as a residential area for, like, I figured it'd be a nice, maybe a residential area for the richer villagers just to be near the castle. I think we built all the way to the highest part of this cliff. Who knows, I might keep expanding it and like take over this whole area. Not sure yet. I mean I am out of I'm basically out of content for this game at this point, but I, I like that I still have the freedom to keep building. And seeing as I can build walls and castles and stuff, I really hope as the game pro progresses, there's like a raiding or barbarian system where you actually have to have your castle defended. Did I ever build the fountain? No, I did not. I wanted to build a fountain in the church's courtyard. Because, yeah, if we had to build castles to defend, like, against raids or whatever... I would actually claim all the way up this arm right here to this cliff top, build another manor or something up here, a fort or something. And then string walls between that cliff and this cliff to kind of just be a big defensive line. Now I am I don't because they have the system right here for walls. I don't think they're going to go the banished route and just be it's completely peaceful aside from the fact that, like, the elements can kill your people or they can starve to death rather than just, you know. I don't think they're just going to leave it at that. I think they're going to go into more, I hope, it seems like they would go into more detail for, like, raids and stuff. But yeah, that's some of the stuff I would love to see in the completed version would be raids, the ability to, like, an education system. A hygiene system, maybe have make you build bathhouses, education system so you can have people in higher, you know, harder jobs or jobs that require some more skilled, skilled workers, I guess, I should say. And I really, really, because I love winter landscapes as well, really, really hope they add a season system to the game. Because seeing all this space, I think it would be just awesome to build not just a city, but like a fortress city if you needed to. Oh, also, I would like having to hire like bailiffs and guards and stuff to patrol your streets to keep pro uh, crime down too. And considering how early they are in, you know... The development process I would not be surprised if most of that's planned for already I don't know if it is but I wouldn't be surprised if they had if they were planning on some of that okay all right so let's turn off immigration for a minute what is the biggest issue my people seem to have right now I'm willing to bet it's berries and still clothing <laughs> Damn berries, man. <laughs> Thankfully, it's pretty easy to fix. I just buy that plot of land. No, I don't want to abandon that territory. 
and then just a couple gathering huts. And boom, fixed. <laughs> and just paint some extraction right here. And if I want to, I could turn this into, ooh. See, just all these cliffs, I can think of so many possibilities. Building another manor here. And then just stringing a wall across here and then up to this rocky cliff. You know, same over here, build a manor here. Like this whole hex appears to be covered on most sides with a cliff. Oh lord, I already know what I'm gonna do with this game now. Son of a, <laughs> I should not have started thinking on that. Cause it's pretty easy to keep the people happy at this point. Just make sure there's enough berries and clothing and bread and housing. Uh, I feel like now in my head, now that I've made it known that it's like, oh, I could build a fortress here, and I could build a fortress here. Because they let me build as many manors and churches as I want. It's like, crap, I'm going to build a fortress, aren't I? <laughs> hey, refined rubber. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Yeah, I feel like that's... Probably what I'm going to end up doing. <laughs> like just little outposts. <sighs> I should not have let that thought get in my head now. Because, yeah, like, right here is a perfect pass. There's a cliff top here, cliff top here, and then just this. I could... Oh, man. <laughs> well. We shall buy this land. Just buy these hexes right here. <laughs> Yeah, you can you can put it in the chat if you like, Michael, or yeah. It should let you put a link. Okay. Yeah, cuz I feel like this would be a perfect little fortress I could make. Hmm. <laughs> Damn it. Ah, okay. Alright, let's see what our people are angry about real quick, because they are starting to get a little irritable. Let's see. You, which problem? Bread and clothing? There's bread and clothing everywhere. Ha. Huh. I guess they do want me to build those markets everywhere. It's like, you could just walk over here, guys. <laughs> Ah, well. Okay. So go ahead and put the warehouse in. Warehouse. Put one here. Yeah, I put a warehouse here. This area up here doesn't have a market either, so let's put the warehouse here. Alright, berry markets. Oh, we know what we can get rid of up here now. It's a berry market. A clothing market. You can go away. And a bread market real quick, right here. <laughs> yes, the damn lazy peasants. <laughs> So 
It's like, yeah, we're not gonna walk that far. You best make sure our little... Our little crafting area, our little shopping areas are right in our faces. That's what we need. Okay. Ah, warehouse is done. Okay, you are just going to store... Well, actually, store wheat, store flour, clothing, bread, and berries. There we go. Oh, I don't have workers for that. Okay. Should probably start letting people show up again. Oops. <laughs> I feel like I probably now have a couple woodcutters that are, well, trying to be woodcutters and there's nowhere left for them to do that. Hmm. Yes, okay. I'm gonna build a lumber camp here. And here and here. Take out the trees. Oh, this is going to take a while <laughs> to give the extraction order. Yeah, I love that this is a sandbox like this that I can do whatever I want, but still. Ah, raids would make this game so much fun to me. Come on, take all this stuff out. Ah, looks like I can give them the order at this point, too, to take a break from that for a second. If you guys are willing to farm across boundaries like this, that'd be great. Because I'm not really planning on building normal structures there. Really wish there was a button I could press that just says, hey, fill, fill this whole hex with, you know, uh, extraction zones. Okay, now this hex. This hex will be a little bit easier since I don't have any... Uh, foresters over here. I can just paint the tree area specifically. That other area was so full of trees, I had no choice. But to tell it to do the whole damn area. Okay. Oh, that's right. I did all that, too. Well, clear the cliffside, specifically. Yeah, I want to build some lords manors. Okay, we have a few more people that have shown up, so I need to put them to work in the markets. Good lord, this is taking forever. Just extract everything. <laughs> okay, right down through here. I think I'm going to alternate between Lord's Manors and churches, because as you guys already pointed out, one of my churches already kind of looks like a fortress monastery, rather than just a fortress. I mean, rather than just a church, so, hey. They can look like defensive structures as well.
So glad our people are still working while I'm doing this. At least they better be. Otherwise, we might need to hang some people, throw them in the stocks, something. <laughs> okay, as twisted as it is, I would like a system like that in the game, though. Okay. Done. Now we just gotta assign people to chop down the trees in these areas. Done. Did all these get manned fully? Yes, okay. Okay, we gotta wait for a few more people to show up. <laughs> Okay, maybe not that far, Michael. <laughs> maybe interesting, but no, not that far. Uh, did that other windmill get operational? It did. And yeah, our bread really started to spike. Again, it still seems to be clothing. Yeah, they very well could be heretics, let's be honest. <laughs> Get to the center of town so I can assign the villagers. <laughs> yeah, they just have numbered designations now. Now, to be fair, that might not be because they can't afford names. Because remember, we got a church to the Omnissiah up here. Maybe that's all, like, names are unnecessary. At least that's what I'm going with. Oh shit, we don't have people up here doing this. Uh, berries, tree, uh, clothing, and food. So yeah, we need some more people to fill this, these markets, and these trees. And then I will likely stop accepting new people into the village while I focus on building up a surplus of stuff and building even though they're unnecessary, building some defenses. <laughs> like, I know the game has zero need for me to have defenses. Exactly. Mail 13, thir number 1330 is more than, is more than sufficient. So this area is now done. I need three for this and one for... Because I think I got most of these... Oh, okay. I didn't get any of these markets filled. So six people so far. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> Aw, oh, man, if there was a 40k city builder game, I would be in heaven. And I know it would be weird to say this, even if there was no combat in that game. Give me an opportunity to make a space marine, like, fortress monastery, a hive city, a forge world, a, you know, ooh, a fortress world like Cadia. Give me the option to make any of that shit, I would be happy as hell. That game might actually finally <laughs> force me to put down RimWorld and switch to something else for numerous series. Yes, you can, <laughs> Stahor. From the videos I've seen, yeah, no, yeah, you can definitely do that. And we have so much stone. Hmm. 
Looks like the berries are starting to run low again, but that's fine. Everything's going to stabilize shortly anyway, because I don't want many more people immigrating to the village. I just kind of want to start building. So a few more groups coming in. We have plenty of room for more houses. Yeah, they still haven't filled up this residential area. Cool, get down here so I can add you guys to to the work rotation. Come on, guys, get down here. Yeah, we still have moments where we crash on bread production, which sucks, but eh. go and let's start with the let's start with the bread over here uh, two more people so the next time we get immigrants I will put them to work and then I will close down the immigration thing and we will start working on some of the other stuff I have in mind Come on. Just two more days. Then all my markets are full. I feel like we're at a pretty good balancing point right now. If we look at the bread, it rarely zeroes out. It does zero out, but it's not frequent. Cool, cool. Let's close that. Let the next two people show up and join. I already filled this up, right? Yeah. Come on, get to the village center. You get to work there. You get to work there. Okay. Now. <laughs> Cliff top fortresses. Overlooking the... Yeah, essentially the colony here. Yes. We'll start here. Let's go with another Lord's Manor. I like the Lord's Manor. We shall put a core. And I can build around the little camp there. And considering this is basically going to be a... <laughs> Do they even have a word for something this small? More than likely not. In 40k, I highly doubt it. Let's build that up. Let's grab some extensions. No, no, no. You stay there. You just grow up a little bit. Another extension. Would you get even if I took you up one more? Eh, pretty, pretty close. Good lord. Eh, maybe another core over here. Let's look at it from the side like this. There we go. Nope, a little bit higher. And... Hmm. Another extension. And another one. And one more. <laughs> That's close enough. And now we'll put a treasury here.
and then I think we'll put another treasury over here. That actually is working very well as far as I'm concerned. Some fortifications. You know what? I don't think I really need all the... Oh, no. Since the towers kind of just do their thing there. It doesn't really seem like I need... Uh, the fortification. Like the um, intervening attachments. So we'll go ahead and do like this. I think we'll put a treasury over here. Again, I just like the looks of the treasuries at this point. Ooh, put one, like, right here. And a treasury here. You heard me, right there. Uh, let's move you... Oh, I can put you right here. And then maybe a... No, not right there. One right here. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I was gonna say, don't you have, like... Especially on, like, what are they called? The Agri Worlds? Wouldn't that be kind of normal to have something this size? No, well, I definitely want to play some more, so yeah. I'm up for it. Whether it's for streaming or not. Okay. I think I will set the manor houses together like this. Make it seem like a proper home here. Or at least, like, if we're thinking about it in terms of an actual manor house, like, or a proper fortress, this could be a, uh, what's it called? Barracks. Alright, let's put a door here. Just put the door in. There we go. Door there. A door there. Let's put some banners down. Because it also has to be kind of a nice structure wall fountain here a wall fountain here <laughs> and I can very much live with this let's also put like we don't want it to be open to the public either though again. I do find it kind of weird that it's like, you know, telling me to do this as a treasury structure. It's like they look more like defensive structures to me, but hey. Yeah, let's do this. Start construction on this. <laughs> And let's get that put together. We should have the supplies for this. It's no big deal. Yeah, 
that? Yeah, I like that. Once all this stuff is built, we'll put the, um... <laughs> we'll put the walls between it. I like how it says, Your very own manor. It's like, yeah, no, I already have one of those. They're up here. <laughs> uh, let's go to our trade, though. I think I need to stop trading a certain resource. Stop trading berries. We keep all the berries. Stuff is getting clear-cut like crazy, though. I don't believe I have any unemployed people in this place at the moment. Nope, I do not. Thanks for stopping by, actually. Uh, the Aquilonian armor really does look like Roman style, huh? That I like that, actually. And I know it's not technically Roman style, but just gonna throw this out there. I am very much looking forward to, um... Odyssey. In a couple days. Well, a couple days. Week and a half? Yeah, week and a half. <laughs> just love the aesthetics of that time period. And if they stuck with what they did on Origins, considering Origins was basically the first Assassin's Creed I truly loved and finished in a very long time. Ah, oh, yeah, Michael, the new uh, Assassin's Creed. Yeah, I'd actually ignored Assassin's Like, I played some of the other Assassin's Creed's before... Origins and after Black Flag, but I didn't really enjoy any of them. I enjoyed Black Fat Flag because of the um, naval combat, and I really enjoyed the Ezio Assassin's Creed games. Didn't really care for. Didn't really care for the um, for three or four or. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, if they stuck with what they did for, uh, what's it called? With all the stuff that they did on Origins, I will be happy. Hmm. Get this thing built, guys. Get this thing built. Uh, let's go ahead and... No, we don't need the walls yet. I guess I could start with the walls, actually. As long as I put these connectors inside the build... Inside the towers. That's good for there. Uh, no, no, you're good there. Like that. Stop right here, and then go... Alright, fine. There we go. I think that'll do. Yeah, I don't really blame you. A lot of... I can see, like, when people don't like Assassin's Creed, I can see why a lot of the times. I'm just... Honestly, I probably wouldn't have gone back to Assassin's Creed if, like, the uh, Origins... Assassin's Creed Origins universe, you know, setting and everything didn't just call to me. Same with Odyssey. Just the setting is just cool to me, so... it's kind of why I'm going back. Not entirely sure if I will stream Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I mean, after playing um, Space Marine on the channel, I realized, I mean, streaming, 
Space Marine here. I realize I like those third-person action games with a story element to it. So, who knows? I might actually do that on, on Twitch. I know I'll get buried by all the huge people that are going to be streaming and recording on that day. But I don't really care. It's a fun game. I mean, it looks like it'll be a fun game. Fun experience to play with everybody. And... How was the other one? Uh, the other reason. Oh, yeah. Because I was thinking about... Because I like that kind of style of game. I was actually thinking about doing Vampire on here since I never finished that on YouTube. But at this point, I don't know how much interest is in it considering how many people played that through and how many people already watched that get played through. So, eh. I feel like these walls might be a little backwards. Because this one doesn't look like that. No, they kind of do. Yeah, it's fine. And I'm okay with that. Like, at first, the idea of the whole fake historical thing they were doing with Assassin's Creed, the pseudo-historical thing, and all the Abstergo stuff in the present. At first it was a good concept, and then it just stopped being a good concept to me. I just got sick of it so much. Uh, is there any way to delete these, actually? Not really. That's fine. That is not what I wanted to do. <laughs> kind of wanted to see if I could easily flip them around, and I cannot. So I'll just leave it be. And hell, with some of the DLC that they did in Origins, they kind of threw... Um, the whole pseudo-historical thing out the window as well, so... Eh. Like I said, I'm cool with it. Yeah, yeah, we could call it that. This could be a prison. <laughs> I want to build a gate now. Put it right here on the road. Wish I could mess with the height of that thing, though. Nah, that's that's not good enough. <laughs> This is just another color of the same stone wall. Nope. Whoa, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, I, I like that. We have multiple... Manners, I guess. Because, <laughs> yeah, that I do like the idea of like these little fortresses bordering our territory. I think I'll use the church set over here when I get to it. And then probably another f normal fortress up here, and then try to find some way to connect them all. However, though... That is going to take forever, and I am kind of out of time for today. Now, here's a question for you guys. One, would you guys be interested in seeing me stream Assassin's Creed Odyssey? And two, do you guys want me to do the rest of my little fortification thing on here on stream? Because I'm going to do it regardless for myself, just because I want to see this as like a giant fortress city. But, if you guys aren't interested in seeing that... Uh, that's fine. I'll do it on my own. But if you guys do want to see it, I can also stream that.
kind of up to you guys. Let me know. But, either way. Ah, yes to Odyssey and yes to making the... To making the fortress. Okay. Yeah, I've kind of run out of new content. Right now it's just basically... It would just be making a fortress or whatever that I'm pleased with. Because, yeah, I do really like the way this is going. Just have to wait for all these trees to get cleared out. <laughs> For which part, organic? Both or the fortress or Odyssey? <laughs> hmm, that should probably... Ah, okay then. Oh, you don't have to worry about that, Stahor. I have not abandoned Phantom Doctrine. I'll still be playing that on stream. So we will still be seeing that. Alright, sounds like we will be doing... You know, we'll be doing Phantom Doctrine still. I will not do any more of this fortress stuff outside of stream just so we got so we can design our own fortress city here and yeah i will do um i will do some odyssey when that comes out preferably the whole thing because i really do like the storyline well i hope i'm gonna like the storyline i liked the storyline in origins let's hope i like the storyline and we all do in odyssey right now we don't know for sure but either way, thanks for the feedback, and yeah, we'll do more of this Fortress Monastery thing the next time I stream. Uh, just a heads up, though, I won't be streaming tomorrow. Tomorrow's actually my anniversary, so I got plans. Won't have time to stream. But to make up for that, I normally don't stream on Sunday. I will stream this coming Sunday. So yeah, with that... Thanks again, everybody, for dropping by, for your feedback, for, you know, your opinions and strategies for building this fortress city. And have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time.